Hi Aries, the Abby Phoenix here. Um, for those of you who are returning, welcome back. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, I welcome you to the FIRE family. Um, all the ways to get in touch with me are down in my description box below, whether to book a reading. Um, I do energy reads on Facebook and Instagram. I'm also on Instant Go. So feel free to utilize all those platforms just to get to know me more about what I do, um, things that interest me, giveaways, free stuff, all of that. Um, yeah. Um, I'm an intuitive reader, so my videos can be very lengthy. For the last few months, I have laid out the first few weeks of cards per month, and then I will do the last week in all clarifiers on camera. I just all of a sudden got really hot. Aries. I mean, I know Mars energy is about to... <laughs> Uh, bump heads with Saturn, so there can definitely be some heated moments. Um, I don't know if any of you are going through that right now, but I just got really, really hot and my air conditioner is on. So whatever that means, let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, week one, we have the seven of wands, seven of fire. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Justice card. And we have the Emperor. So um, what I'm seeing here is this is definitely Maybe this is why I'm getting hot, <laughs> because this week there's going to be some type of needing to let somebody, and I want to say somebody from the past, or somebody maybe from your childhood, or somebody that has impacted the healing process in your life. Um, there's going to be a, a time for redemption here, a time of justice here. A time for you, Aries, to be in your power. And like I was saying with the Mars and Saturn energy, um, join me on Facebook Live and Instagram Live to hear more details about what that means. But Mars is your ruling planet and is all about determination, power, getting to the bottom of issues, but not necessarily in a diplomatic way. Aries, you know how you can be. Um, you are the youthful. I say that in regards to everything that you all do, you do it instinctively. And it's because, I don't want to say you don't know any better, but it's because of the fact that you're the first sign of the zodiac. So everybody else that follows sign-wise is building upon your foundation. And whoever this is, I have to say I am getting a sense of love, couple. I am. I've... All these you know, love focus readings, but I feel after Valentine's Day, there's been a huge focus on it. But this is somebody that you know. It definitely could be family, so it could be that type of love. Um, I'm not getting work. I'm not getting work. Um, but there's going to be a need for Aries to be Aries. And I, I'm just getting, I'm hearing that you all just need to be Tactful, the star. Sorry about the lighting. The star. I'm just getting clarifying cards, not on any of these in particular, but I just want to hmm, temperance. Redemption. There's going to be a need to to balance out what may have happened in the past to now. Knight of Pentacles.
Yo, you guys. Yeah, this is a couple. So on the regular deck at the bottom is King of Cups, clarifying deck, Queen of Cups. There's going to need to be a need to stand your ground, and it may possibly have to do with a love offer. Perhaps this person in the past was not on their P's and Q's and now they're trying to come back in. They've been hopeful. You've been hopeful secretly because Aries, you guys aren't all big, bad wolf. You know, like you, you all are some of the sweetest individuals, but you have this hard shell because you want people to already know up front, like don't F with me, right? So this person is trying to come back in to, to balance what happened before to now. They've grown up a little bit. I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is them. It could also be their energy and where, you know, the message that they're bringing in is a message of stability, but it may be too little too late. So week two, we have the Empress. Once again, a couple here, five of fire. And then the messenger of air, the knight of swords. So this person is going to be persistent. This sounds very similar to, so what was it? February, I think it was all about soulmate energy. And I mean, we got it twice. The queen of cups and then we have the emperor and the empress, which rules over all kingdoms. Okay. And I'm saying soulmate energy Although it can be, you know, whatever divine, divinely led relationship you want to call it, I'm not feeling the need to necessarily pinpoint that here. But last month for March was about forgiveness. And Aries, I don't know, because it's see, either you have hope or this other person has hope. And the only reason that the hope is there is because there's been a door left open. You may not have been openly communicating about that opportunity being there, but it seems like you are, you or this person continues to flip flop because it's a general reading, so it can go either way. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. I forgot to say all that jazz, but either way it goes, you or this person continues to go between the two extremes even though at the deep down core of it all, there's a, there's a connection here. One that neither one of you can deny, but it's like, I even get the feeling where if one of you makes the decision to be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to move forward with this. And the other person is just like, you know what? I'm not ready. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta stay back. I can't do it. So I feel like that is where this Knight of Swords energy comes in, where it just, this clarity, this clarity that's needed is going to be coming up. Now, whenever you're being called to watch this video, because timing doesn't exist, it's fluid, um, you're going to be watching it at the right time. So this may not fall into you know, the weeks that I'm calling them out for. But I do feel like it's going to be a sequence of events. And I mean, Aries, like, ooh. Oh, I despise when my cards fall on the floor. Hold, please. Good tool. I'm missing one. Four of Swords. another one down here sorry yeah. thank you queen of cups i have somewhere clarifying let me see if i can make a barrier between here on the floor. Can I get some more clarifying cards for week two for Aries? Again, and that looks like in itself, the four of swords with the queen of cups, it's like 
when the other person is showing their devotion and showing their love, then that's when the other individual wants to be on a break. I don't if, if this has been a relationship that's been off and on three of ooh, sorry, three of cups. It's been off and on, but I feel like this three of cups, I'm not even necessarily getting that it's a third party situation. I'm feeling as if this is supposed to be a celebratory moment, like I, I said, divinely led, where two of pentacles. Divinely led, where spirit is trying to get, can I get one more card, please? It's trying to get you to, to recognize the strengths, to continue to live in the strength of the relationship. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I said divinely led. Um, it's trying to get you to, to pay attention to the, the beneficial nature of this relationship and to stop going in between when both of you want the same thing. Ultimately, both of you want the same thing. So week three, we have eight of pentacles or the eight of earth. We have the ten of air. And then we have the higher fence. Where this is telling me like it's it's time to learn a new way of doing things. It can't get any worse. You both need to recognize that. And I and I'm not, I don't know any of the situations that this may pertain to um, in regards to who's called to watch this reading, but I'm not feeling like what happened in the past was detrimental, where there is no way to move forward from it. Now, granted, too, you can always move forward from a situation if both parties are in agreement to do so. But I feel like it's recognizing that it's recognizing this need to release this need to let go. I, I, I really feel like I told you all that last month, too. And once you do, there is. There's an element of commitment that needs to happen here. Can I just get a few cards to clarify week three, please? Or maybe with this Hierophant card, Six of Cups shows up again. And the Four of Wands. What I was going, sorry if you guys can't see that. Four of Wands. Come on, camera, switch over. Okay, well, Four of Wands. Um, where I'm, I'm feeling like, I don't know, maybe these are divorce proceedings where, you know, one of you wants it, the other one doesn't. Oh my gosh, you all. And then the bottom of the clarifying deck is the King of Cups. Whew. Yeah. Um, one of you wants it, the other one doesn't. Then you go, screw it. If this person's not going to fight for me, then let's just go ahead and do it. And the other person comes back and they're just like, well, you know what? I've been thinking about it. I don't want to do it. Let's work this out. It's, it's just like, it's like this game. It's this game of wits to see like who's willing to bend first and it damn sure isn't going to be you. So there continues to be this conflict. There continues to be this mental energy just being spent by fighting i don't want to say over nothing but fighting for no resolution so let's go towards the end of the month two already flipped out eight of wands eight of fire seven of cups making a choice communicating what that choice is going to be. Let's get into the end of the month, please. It's time to decide. Um, are some of you dealing with an Aquarius? So I say that because the star card came out. Eight of air, eight of swords. It's self-sabotaging energy. Page of fire. I, 
I'm feeling that, I mean, we start the month off with hope. Somebody having it. We're ending the month with hope. Somebody having it. There's this self-sabotaging energy that continues to plague you two coming together. So, yes, needs to be some type of communication about a choice that needs to be made. And I feel like this page of fire is all about when you two are good, when you are on the opposite end of this eight of air energy, when you two are in a good place, when you have been in a good place in the past, because I definitely don't feel like it's necessarily been coming up with all of this, you know, I want to say rough housing. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want to say rough housing. Um, when you two are in a good place, it's fun. It's fun. It's freeing. It's passionate to to no end. Can I get some clarifying cards for the last week of April, please? It is passionate to no end. Like I feel maybe some of you are attracted to the game, but it has to stop. I mean, it's it's delaying the fruitfulness of the relationship. And I don't want to say Aries, I really hope that I have a different reading for you all next month. But this has been playing. Back in February, it was recognizing somebody from the past is coming back in to make an offer. And like they are your everything. But it's you had you had to finally adjust and acknowledge that. And then last month is going through the forgiveness. And I don't know if maybe this is how you all are trying to get through the forgiveness, but it's this energy is now starting to play. It's starting to be played out. It's starting to be enough is enough. More clarity, messages, page of cups. You guys have the page of fire, page of air, and page of cups. Can I see the page of air? And we have the knight, the knight of swords. But just clarity on a mental level, on a passionate level, on a love level, like either you or this person just needs to stop it. Somebody needs to quit while, and then we get the page of pentacles. Oh, is spirit not directing the communication on all levels here? so that the game can be done and you two can come together. I'm interested to see, I, you know, if, I mean, we have the four of wands here, which is one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite cards. Like it just signifies to me, like it's, it's bridging the gap. And then we get the 10 of wands. The burden has to be dropped. And if, if it's just too much, you know, if it is just too much, then it's just time to let it go. But the whole you run, I chase. Now that you've stopped running or you stop chasing, I run after you. It just has to stop. It has to end. Let me get some more clarifying cards, please, for the end of April. The sun again. Did I get this on the floor? No, I'm sorry. I just feel, um, now I know at the end of the month we will be in Taurus. So I'm feeling a couple of things with this sun card here. I'm one feeling that this could, this decision, this action step, even though this is pulling up for week four, it's signifying to me the end of this cycle, the end of this battle, the end of, you know, the back and forthness of this connection, because the sun is going to be coming in and bringing a fresh new lease on it. I'm also feeling like maybe the decision gets made within the airy season.
And then I'm also just feeling like if you, regardless of whichever choice you decide to make, I am feeling more though for those of you who do decide to move forward with this, that it's going to be fulfilling, happiness good things good things good things can i get at least one more card of clarity king of cups bottom of the deck we get the eight of pentacles again there has to be a new way to contribute to this relationship there has to be yeah, and even at the bottom of um, the regular deck, we have Temptation, the Devil card. There is something that keeps you two apart, but it's all, I want to say man-made. It is, it's a choice. It's a choice. Gotta let it go got to let go of that type of behavior because it's not going to get you anywhere. And I think that spirit is going to be lining up everything so that so that it finally comes together if you so choose. All right, Aries. Book a reading with me, email me, uh, reach out to me on Instant Go. All of my hours are in my Instant Go description box. Um, check me out, social networks. Uh, tune in for the live reading that I will be doing on Facebook and Instagram Live. Um, yeah, and I will see you all in May. Love you much. Follow your heart. I want to say that. Follow your heart. And if it's not leading you to this, absolutely fine. But this can't keep going. And this way of doing things has to be unlearned for the next relationship. Be blessed, y'all.